along with me for a crisis cleaning type situation. Um, it's not really crisis cleaning, it's just more like I feel really uncomfortable and I need to pull the house back together. Um, yesterday we had a birthday party for my boys and as, to, as you can imagine, we kind of left a big mess behind. And so for those of you that are new to my channel, I follow a fly lady journey. And crisis cleaning is like, it's when you try to get a bunch done at one time um, to kind of pull everything back together. So anyway, it's bath time and dinner time and after school time. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to get the things done that I need to do for bedtime and also be cleaning at the same time. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make me like a little block schedule. Sometimes I really do get overwhelmed with that feeling that I need to do everything and it needs to be done right now. And so by having like a, a planned schedule, like it's gonna help me have some structure that will help me slow down. But I just notice when I don't do that, I feel like everything needs to be done now and it stresses me out. But when I see like, okay, I'm on track, like I'm going, I'm actually ahead of schedule, it felt, helps me feel better about the situation. So I'm gonna do that now. What time is it? It's 4.44. Okay, so I'm just gonna say that it's 4.45. So between now and five o'clock, I want to put dinner on the table for my boys. And actually, I'm just gonna feed everybody. I'm just gonna put dinner on the table. So luckily I made dinner earlier today, so dinner is already taken care of. I just need to warm it back up and serve it to my family. While my family is eating dinner, I will run my first load of dishes. And then from five to six o'clock, I will do baths, and then I will initiate room rescues. So room rescues are, we call them five minute room rescues, and so when you take five minutes to pull a room back together, so I will room rescue the bathroom, and I will room rescue my master bedroom. Okay, and then from six to seven, I will probably room rescue the living room. I will room rescue the dining room. I will also room rescue the kitchen. And so those are supposed to be five minutes each. And then for from seven to 7.30, I would really love to um, spend 15 minutes kind of starting in my dining room. My dining room is like the worst. Oh, you know what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be taking breaks. So I will get breaks if I follow this schedule because it's not like super jam packed, but I will be conscious of that. But I will spend 15 minutes in my dining room just doing what I can to pull it back together. And I would really love if I could spend 10 minutes changing sheets and also 10 minutes going through like the bathrooms and stuff like that. This looks like a pretty reasonable plan to me. I know it looks like a lot because I'm trying to do like, I didn't do my morning routine today. I didn't do any cleaning today. I was resting and recovering. So I'm trying to do a lot at once, but I think if I just pace myself, it's gonna be just fine. I just wanna get you on my grid sometimes, on my grid sometimes. So here you see me just working through some of my dishes. Um, this is what happens to my dishes whenever I skip my morning routine. And so I love having a routine now where I just, no matter what my dishes look like, I try to get them done every morning and every night so that they don't build up because that's just one day's worth of craziness. And so um, this day I didn't do my morning routine. As I mentioned before, I was recovering from a party. so. Um, I knew that I was going to have to run multiple loads to get it all done. And since my kids were eating, it was taking a little more time than, well, nope, my kids are just eating and taking their time with, like they normally do. So I decided that I would start cleaning in here and just use that time to work on some of my hot spots. For those of you that are new to Fly Lady, hot spots are basically the areas in your home where people just tend to drop stuff that either they're not ready to put away or they don't know where it belongs and just staying on top of your hot spots and clearing them off every morning and night will just make your home look so much cleaner um and just more presentable so i just decided to use that opportunity to work on some hot spots and then once my kids are ready for their baths then i will 
stop working in the kitchen and go handle that. So in this part, I'm doing a five minute room rescue. And this is a habit that I try to do after I give my girls a bath and I just run around and just grab stuff for five minutes. It usually doesn't even take that long. And yes, if you're asking, you do have to shout room rescue at the end of it. You know, Fly Lady says make it fun and it'll get done. So that's my way of making it fun is doing a victory shout. So I'm just rescuing my bedroom. Room rescue! All right, it is 549, which means 550, which means I'm about 10 minutes ahead of schedule. That's awesome. So you guys saw that I worked on the dishes and my babies were still eating. So I just went ahead and used that time to kind of get ahead in the kitchen. And then I just gave them baths. And I usually do this every night. I room rescue the bathroom. So just take five minutes to put everything back where it goes. I room rescue my room. Um, so I had a lot of extra stuff in there because I put stuff in there for the party. Basically from six to seven, I need to do five minute room rescues in three rooms. So that's only 15 minutes worth of cleaning in an hour. So um, it should be fine. I should be able to manage it and not feel stressed out. But I just know I have those extra things to do tonight. And if I could get ahead of schedule and get that done stuff done early, early, I would love that. So I feel like I'm looking so rough. I am. It's okay. I just wanted to take a moment to say something about crisis cleaning that I think is important to share. Um, crisis cleaning is really cool when you have like a big mess that you're trying to pull together in a short amount of time, but it's not really a good long-term strategy when it comes to homemaking. Um, I feel like before Fly Lady, I used to probably only do crisis cleaning. I waited until things kind of got out of control and then I would try to spend several hours pulling it back. And if you do that, then you probably know the mess just comes right back. And so if you really want to get to a point where your home feels consistently clean and you're not having to fight and battle with your home all the time, the best way to go about that is to create good habits and good routines. And so that's one of the biggest things that I've learned from Fly Lady is the difference between crisis cleaning and having good routines. It's just night and day. And so, um, you know, every once in a while you do have to crisis clean if things get out of control, or at least I want, I like it, but, um, it's definitely not a good long-term strategy because if you do this day in and day out, it will wear you down. I just wanted to jump in and say, I apologize for this part. I really tried to give you guys some balloon pop in action and yeah, my camera angles got all kind of messed up. So you guys can't really see the fun. But I just wanted to jump in and apologize because I know some of you guys are really looking forward to that. My bad. I want to change the order in how I'm doing this. It's it's 608 and the dining room has been rescued. Room rescued! It was supposed to be five minutes. It turned into a little bit longer, but it's cool because like that was a room that was like salvageable. Like most things in there had a place to go, like in the trash or where it belonged. So um, I'm back into the kitchen. That's what I'm supposed to be working on now. But it's kind of like the dishes only have like 16 more minutes and I really wanted to get a second load in tonight. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use those 16 minutes to zone clean that bad boy. I am gonna set a timer for this room because this is the kind of mess that can easily overwhelm me and I can spend too much time on it and not get to spread myself um, throughout the house. And so there's a lot of things in there that don't have a place to go and uh, that takes time. So if I could just do like 15 minutes today, 15 minutes tomorrow, possibly 15 minutes on Wednesday, it'll come together. So let me just see kind of where I am. Okay, so I've done, I've done dinner for the children. I've done the dishes. I did their baths, and I've also checked their homework. One kid had homework, one kid didn't. I room rescued the bathroom and the master bedroom about five minutes each. I just room rescued the 
dining room or the breakfast room more like it. I'm gonna hold off on the living room until the girls go to sleep because I don't want them to mess up the toys. Oh, you guys can't even see that. Okay, hold off on the kitchen for another 15 minutes just to let that load of dishes finish up. So I'm moving down into the 7, 7.30 tasks. And by the way, you guys, it's 6.10. So I'm going to spend 15 minutes in the dining room now. And then when that's done, I should be able to move up into the kitchen. So let's get started. Sorry, these balloons also didn't want to be witnessed being popped. Really bad camera angle. I'm so sorry, you guys. I want something real. Maybe if I say the night, you could feel the same. And maybe if you treat me right, we could rearrange. But I'm not even gonna try. For those of you that are new to Fly Lady, or if you don't know what zone cleaning is, Zone cleaning is where you break your home down into five different sections. And each week of the month, we pay focused attention to one section of the home. And so this week, we are working on our entryways. So pretty much anything that you see when you open that door, your first impressions, um, we just spend a little bit of extra time cleaning in there. And we do it for 15 minutes. So that can be deep cleaning, that can be decluttering, just whatever you feel like that room needs, you just work on that. And then the next week we move to a new area in the home. Maybe if I say the night, you could feel the same. And maybe if you treat me right, we could rearrange. But I'm not even gonna try if you don't wanna stay. So, how's it so the most important part of crisis cleaning is that you take a break. Uh, what most people tend to do is they take on these really big projects and they push themselves so hard until they pretty much crash and burn and then they don't even want to show up to do anything else because you're like recovering from all the work that you did and so fly lady recommends that we work for 45 minutes and then we take a 15 minute break and then we jump back in the game the um what had happened was I was supposed to sit here for 15 minutes. Refresh on this tea. And now I'm having a hard time getting up. And so I went ahead and took the break because after I finished zone cleaning, um, doing my 15 minutes of zone cleaning in my dining room, I just was just like tired. And usually in the past, I would just push through, push, 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 and try to get it all done. And then, you know, obviously, when you like burn yourself out like that, like you don't really feel motivated to do your routines the next day and do what you're supposed to do. And so, I'm sorry, my kids are still awake. And so taking this little break is supposed to just refill you and get you going so that you can go back and do it again. And so, um, I'm having a hard time getting back up, you guys. <laughs> what happened was my husband gave me a meat pie. And so I'm sitting here drinking this warm, delicious tea. I'm feeling oh so cozy. And he gave me a meat pie, so I'm feeling full. And so, there's just a few more things I wanted to get to, and I'm honestly trying to think. I think I'm just gonna do it tomorrow, you guys. Like, I feel like I've done quite a bit. Um, the only things that are really left is doing my room rescue in the living room, so that's just five minutes of picking up toys. In fact, let me call my boys to do that. Is he Gord, Chavese? You guys, come clean up the living room. Come pick up all these toys, please. Um, okay. So there we go. Check, 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 check. So there's one less thing to do. All right, the next thing that I wanted to do is swap out the dishes in the dishwasher because um, there were so many dishes that I didn't get to. Let me see if I can get my husband to do it. So having 
solicited the help of my family. I'm feeling motivated. I think we can finish. So, what I'm gonna do now is go scrub some toilets and change some sheets. And if we can all work together, I think that's another, like five minutes of work for my kids. Maybe like 10 minutes for my husband and possibly like another 20, 20 minutes for me, so. Let's finish. Why is it hot on my own? So once again, for those of you that are new to Fly Lady, the weekly home blessing is like a day of just extra cleaning that we do in our home. And it consists of doing things like 10 minutes of vacuuming, 10 minutes of mopping, 10 minutes of dusting horizontal surfaces, 10 minutes of shining, polishing, like vertical surfaces, and also like 10 minutes of like taking out trash and doing stuff like that. And usually we do this once a week. Um, Fly Lady has it set for Monday, but what I've been doing recently is I've been breaking up my weekly home blessing. Instead of doing six tasks in one day, I've been just doing one task a day. So I add 10 minutes to my morning routine so that I can cover one of those tasks. So you see me kind of going through my bathroom. This is a variation that I have for myself. Um, I have stopped doing the daily swish and swipes and I've gone back to just cleaning my bathroom or cleaning my toilets and sinks once a week. And that's just working out a little better for me. Um, but ideally you wouldn't need to clean your bathroom. Your bathroom would already be clean if you were following the fly lady system. But you know, I am a believer that you can tweak and modify things to fit your life. And me cleaning my bathroom once a week is way better than what I used to do back in the days. So yeah, I've designated Mondays as my bathroom day. And it's also the day that I change sheets. I give myself 10 minutes to complete each task. And then once the 10 minutes are over, then I have to stop. And so for tasks like this, the 10 minutes is not really so helpful. It's more like when it comes to mopping and vacuuming, like I can easily get carried away with that. So I do follow the rule of just keeping it at 10 minutes and then stopping and continuing the next week. I'm feeling pretty darn good. Um, I felt like whenever I set those goals for myself, like as much as I was trying to convince myself that, oh, yeah, it's realistic, you can do this. I was low key like thinking, nah, this is like too much. It's overwhelming and I don't want to be stressed out. And it was a little bit overwhelming, but like I don't have parties every week. I don't have parties every month. Crap, I don't even have parties every year. So this is kind of like one of those things that just comes and goes, you know? Like, uh, it threw us off of our routine a little bit, but, but I'm glad that I was able to pull it back in um, by just going through my normal nighttime routine and also adding a little bit of zone cleaning in there. I was able to pretty much pull together most of the major living areas. There's still a couple more things to do. I have a feeling that that little bit that's left over it's probably just gonna be another day of zone cleaning. Honestly, the biggest issue is now I own party supplies, which I didn't really own it before because I didn't really have a lot of parties. And so that's just gonna require me finding a new home for that stuff. And I'm also happy that I recruited the help of my boys and my husband, and they are also able to help me meet my goal because honestly, without their them jumping in tonight, I probably just would have saved it for tomorrow and I would have been very okay with that. Yeah, like I'm feeling pretty good. I was feeling overwhelmed pretty much all day today, which sucks because, you know, after a party, you should just feel like you want to relax and, you know, just recover. But I just was having a hard time relaxing because I just felt so guilty that the house was a mess. And I think the next time that I have a party, when I see the house looking all crazy, like I will remember this and know that it's not really that big a deal to catch it back up. Like all I have to do is go through my routines, maybe do a little bit of zone cleaning, recruit help, and I can bring it back together in a couple hours. So next time I'll remember that and I will remember that it won't overwhelm me. So when I do that, take that day of rest, I won't feel so guilty about it. Yeah, feels good. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.